Oh, JD here, two of them. And as you can see, we're on F1 2021 as always. And we are doing some online lobbies here today. This is some five lappers that I do pretty much most weekdays. But if you really want to know when I do go live, then I will always post an Instagram story. So make sure you follow me over there um, just so you stay notified. And these races are obviously for good fun and stuff as well and they're usually completely filled with carnage but i do feel that you can learn a lot by racing online and even in five lappers when it's not a league race or anything at all uh, particularly with your driving style setups um, there's so many things you can learn in how to approach more serious races uh, when you come to do league racing you can see we've got a pretty decent start here i find going to about uh, 13,000 rpm or uh, three green bars on the right hand side that is the, really the way to go and then go up through the throttle slowly uh, as we've made quite a good start so far hit the back of this house which has unsettled him which is a little bit unfortunate but you can see the title of this video the curves in this game are absolutely a nightmare in my opinion so i just really want to know what people think of this as north lad is getting a little bit argy bargy with someone else and now he's deciding to push me out a little bit we're going to go down the inside here. He's still on my outside. He's very determined. So he sticks his nose in here. And if you look at my wing mirror, he has paid the price horribly for that. And honestly, what are you doing? It's never going to work going down the inside there, my friend. Even if you did, then you're not going to get more traction or early on the throttle than the person on the outside. But... A uh, thing with online lobbies is that usually when you hit someone, uh, they take it very personally and they make it their life's mission to make sure you pay for it later on. So we'll have to see if I pay the price for that <laughs> later on in this race here. But moving back to the topic at hand, I think the curbs in this game are just... Uh, it's good because it has an element of skill. As you can see, going over there, if you hit it right, it's nice and smooth. But if you hit it wrong then you just really do pay the price but coming into this tell one we're gonna try and make an overtake here but yeah just one millimeter on that curb and it just career ends you literally and that's really been the case with quite a few curbs in this game please tell me if that is realistic i'm not an expert i did kart racing and if you did that in kart racing then you're fine but obviously in formula one and single seaters might be a very difficult or different experience please let me know if a if that's realistic and b you think that's good for the game um for me i'm kind of mixed because it's an element of skill to miss that and people will get punished so in a way i actually really do like it but in other ways it's just incredibly annoying because i don't know if that is really what should be happening so i'm more in favor of it and being honest but it absolutely kills you if you just uh, breeze on it and just put uh, just a fraction of your wheel on it and particularly around china here the curbs are absolutely lethal like i said that last corner if you just kiss it then it career into you like the first corner but then if you mount it it's really good and same for austria turn one and hungry is another one which is really really painful uh, the curbs are out to get you uh, on this game you can see that time i swear we literally hit it exactly the same as the previous lap so it's really hard to be accurate and know what actually works this feels a little bit unpredictable uh, for me but again not always a bad thing but we're going to try and go down the inside try and recover this race because we're actually doing a really good race until then so not every race I do is good, and I will never upload my uh, best races at all times. I actually like to upload some of my worst races as well, because I really, again, hope that this gives you a perspective of what a normal race is. And you can learn a lot from these things, but we just do the same thing again. Again. We have not learned a lesson. And as I was just saying there... You need to use races such as this. And you notice I'm not quitting. I'm still continuing. Even though my tyres are probably 200 plus degrees at this point. 
Now these are races that give you these lessons that you really need to learn. And you can see my tires are still thoroughly cooked at this point. Um, but yeah, as frustrating as it is, I will always, always tell people that you just need to keep going. Um, even if you had like a broken wing in a league race or something as well, because you never know what can happen and it just really trains your mentality. But it's the way of improving. Um, you need to make mistakes um, to improve. And you know, especially on the Formula 1 game, otherwise your muscle memory uh, just gets locked into there. Um, so you can see we're just trying to recover here now. Uh, we're coming up to a group of cars here. And I was just trying to conserve my ERS to see maybe if we could get the fastest lap uh, at the end. But no, a bit of a shame because it was actually turning out to be a good race. There's, yeah, he's not having a good time um, either. <laughs> so everyone seems to be struggling. I think China is one of the tracks that have actually changed the most for me um, compared to the last game. I might actually do a um, comparison video on that once we get around to it. But finishing the penultimate lap of this race, we're going to try and start the last lap here. As you can see, doing the cut that time is absolutely fine. So the more you take it, the better it is, it seems to be, which is kind of weird. But we're going to go into this tail one. Let's see if we can try and get the switch back on this guy. Um, and again, inside he does it, but he doesn't really want to give me that much room here. And now we're coming up behind a Aston Martin, a racing point. And I think this is the guy, actually, is it is? <coughs> yep, North Lad, he is the guy on the first lap who's causing a bit of carnage. And I think we destroyed his race. So we're going to go try and grab the outside. He leaves me just about enough room. So... I thought, okay, fair play, that's good. But then if you watch the arrow, yeah, yeah, and yeah. So yeah, he didn't seem to be too happy about that. And as I said, if you haven't raced in five app lobbies before or for many years like I have, if you make one bit of contact to someone, they will make it their life's mission and they will take it so personal as we almost destroy ourselves again that they will make it their life's mission to just yeah make sure you don't reach the finish line but we do reach the finish line and we're doing china again <laughs> two china races in one because i was determined to learn from these mistakes and get a good race at china so we're starting at p13 made a good start once again this cozy guy behind isn't particularly clean and nice himself um, and you can see we've got a two second time penalty after he actually hit me in the rear so I think the penalty system is a little bit weird on this game I think it's a little bit inconsistent and unfair so but yeah we're gonna try and progress on once again and also for people who are very dirty online it's very obvious when these people try and rejoin back in as a different gamer tag because they haven't got any gamer score whatsoever so that is just a word of warning yes believe me there are people if you keep kicking them they will just keep on coming back in <laughs> with a different gamer tag for a five lap race honestly you don't know how serious these people take it but for me i normally just have trying to have a laugh at this but also at the same time try and learn some new things uh, with the game as well so a little bit of a mix of fun and seriousness but Back in the day, I used to get very angry if I got taken out. But now, most of the time, I just try and laugh it off. And I just try and keep going no matter what. And I really, really recommend that to uh, most people as well. As we're trying to get past this Haas. Um, and you can see we're in P7 here. So we made up a good start at the moment. And this curb, we messed it up quite nicely. Almost lost it on the exit of there. AMS Chester is leading this race. He's quite a quick driver. There were quite a few quick drivers um, who I raced with today, which was uh, good to see. But we're going to go for this very nice switchback, which I really like to do uh, in this turn one. And I think it's much easier in this game as well, considering how much more understeer there is uh, on this game. Um, so we managed to navigate through that uh, pretty nicely. Now we're coming up behind RPL. I'm not even going to pronounce that. I'd have. I'm just awful at pronouncing names, but uh, going through here, just trying to test if we can go flat out. Not quite flat out. Using the same setup, I'm actually using a Baku setup uh, I did with my TT. And it actually works very well uh, around most of the tracks. So I really enjoy it. It's got an element of straight line speed, 
traction and also just a good cornering as well so he's going in a little bit deep so we're thinking about maybe going for the switch back again but i think he's firmly go close the door so there wasn't quite enough room here we're debating whether to use the ers or not so we turn it off and now i think he's actually using it himself he's trying to give me the good old squeeze like a hamilton verstappen <laughs> going to the cops but i think we're just about going to outbreak him he leaves room on the inside we get the boot done and now we're up behind Veloce Dragon, who is a regular in my lobbies, very nice guy, as Chassa sets the fastest app of a 31.8, as we actually still set the fastest app with a 31, oh, sorry, he did a 9 and I actually did an 8. This time we are avoiding uh, this chicane of, not chicane, but curb of death, sorry, and we'll go try and maybe get the same switch back again, but we timed that uh, pretty poorly. His ERS has run out already, so he's already below 10% because the red light is flashing. So I don't really need to do too much here. And since I already have a two second penalty, there's no real point taking a massive risk uh, get past Dragon. Because um, I think Chasta, he's oh, quite a fast driver anyway, so it wouldn't be enough time to catch him. And yeah, with the two second penalty, it's going to be a little bit unrealistic as the... Alpha Tori is just having a little bit of a off-road trip there. Um, but we're just going to wait for the straight. So there's no point overtaking going to here. We've got the DRS line coming up. And I don't think I'm even going to be using any of the ERS. Uh, just to demonstrate how much more powerful it is. Uh, without uh, when you actually run out of the ERS. So you can see we're not using any of the battery power uh, whatsoever here. And you can just see the straight line speed with the DRS. As we do a little bit of a dummy the drs is just so powerful on this game it really is powerful um so if the car in front of you doesn't have it then most of the time you won't even need to use any of the battery power so as you can see we're struggling on that curb once again and now we've got a little bit of clear air a 3.9 second gap to chaster so let's see how much we can actually close this down Initially on this penultimate lap, I was thinking about just uh, throwing everything at it uh, to try and see uh, what the ultimate lap time could be. But then you'll see towards the end of the lap, I decided to back off a bit and save a bit of ERS for the next lap. Because although it's good, good to get the fastest lap, if you used all your ERS in one lap, then you're very under power for the next lap. And uh, we know the battery is very important in terms of power distribution in this game. So I wanted to see if I could do two laps very very fast uh, back to back um, and if that's the more efficient approach into doing this game rather than just dumping it all out and being a second off the next lap why don't I try and set a lap um, which is three temps within my best and then do another lap the same as that again so overall in the two laps I'm actually going much faster um, so these are the kind of things I like to test for uh, league racing you can see here now I'm actually not using the overtake uh, going down the straight because I want to save about 50% uh, for the last lap. And you'll be able to see by the lap time. Normally, typically, a very low 31 is good. I have done a 30.6 or 7 before uh, going around here just to give you an indicator. So he does a 31.6 and we do a 31.1. Um, so I think we sacrificed a good three or four attempts there. Uh, by not using that battery power so you can see a low 31 is a very good time already so now me saving this battery can i do another time even faster or if not the same whereas if i just did that 30.6 i probably would have done a, a very high 31 for my last lap so it's just all about testing these things out and um, to try and be as efficient as i possibly can and you can see we have gained uh, quite a bit of time on chaston in the last two laps we've gained about eight temps of a second and he is a, a pretty fast driver a race from on 2021 and as i said anyone with a free abbreviations i normally take uh, to be uh, a bit more of an experienced player if you could call it that because we're not gaining time in these first two sectors uh, on my best time because the tires are starting to go off now and they're quite sensitive around china but you'll be able to see by my steering wheel, it's in the red delta, but you'll see it was going to go into the green very quickly as I'm actually using the battery now and now it's gone into the green. 
and you know, we are running a little bit on low on fumes as well um, so it wouldn't be as much time gaining as it could have been it's going here mentioned to spot the breaking point uh, pretty nicely and uh, the pace with these setups i'm using is very very good online and we don't do a good last corner almost lost it and going across the line it's a 31.0 um so a 31.1 and then a 31.0 by just taking a bit more of an efficient approach so that was a good test and um, some good lessons learned there especially with the curbs so just let me know what you think of that as well but as always thank you so much uh, for watching for supporting the channel i hope the serps and everything are going well many more videos planned uh, for the future and also just let me know what you want to see from me as well so thank you so much i hope you're having a great day and i will catch you very soon peace <laughs>